Hey guys, Alex from 7th Hour Films back again with JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Last time on JoJo's Bizarre Adventure we had... Kanum's Oingo and Thoth's Boingo. Debatably. It, which I think that's the Japanese name. It may have been translated differently in English. I'm really not sure. Netflix has it as one thing, but then the episode has it as another. I don't know. Uh, but basically, uh, the gang was in this town. Kakyoin and Avdol were in the hospital. And there were these two stand users that were trying to kill them. But the gang actually never realized that they were trying to kill them. Uh, instead, they were using predictions, but they sucked at it. And then in the end, they just got the crap kicked out of them, and then they gave up. Yeah. And now I am ready to relax with a little bit of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Hopefully. We'll see. So, uh, like always, the, the reaction is in the description and in the pinned comment. So let's go ahead and get on with this episode. Episode 28. Here we go. All right, wow, another good episode. You know, last episode I did say, like, oh, that was good, but it was really goofy. This one, now that was really good. This was really, really good. What an amazing stand, I have to say. Oh, man, oh, man. So, okay, presumably then, when the Nine met Dio, the, the Anubis stand got... It was basically using someone, spoke to Dio, lost that person, and then ended up finding Chaka. I guess. That's just kind of, it's kind of strange, but alright. But, I mean, this is a sentient stand. Like, even more sentient than the others, you know? Because the others, like, they, they're kind of sentient, but they also just sort of act on the sentience of their user. This one is different. This is a fully sentient stand, which is interesting. And, yeah, and it can switch users. That was very interesting. I, I'm really down for this one, I have to say. Uh, so we can go ahead and hop into the notes. The first thing I wrote down is Kakyoin, uh, who Kakyoin, I imagine, is just going to be out for a couple episodes and then he'll come back. Uh, but that was interesting, yeah, he, he is at least expected to make a full recovery, but he's just gonna have to be on the back burner for a little bit, which I understand, you know. Uh, luckily, it's not going to be as terrible as with Avdol, so, yeah, there's at least that. Uh, and then we got the sword, again, just a, a very interesting idea for a stand, you know. The stand, basically, the stand is in the sword and then can control its user, like, that is so interesting, man. Like, and again, just a sentient stand. I can't believe it's taken us 28 episodes to have that. But, yeah, a sentient stand. I don't know why. Like, I, I, I feel like, I feel like we should have had that. But none of them, again, they all act from their user, you know? They're all from their user. Now, at first, it kind of seemed like Anubis wanted to take Polnareff at first, you know? But I imagine that just had to get sidelined because uh, because the others showed up, you know? But, I mean, he could have unsheathed it, you know? So, it makes you question, like, okay, could he have taken Polnareff, you know? Would that mean Polnareff technically would have had two stands? He would have had Anubis and Silver Chariot. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, but that is so interesting. And, and I like that, you know, of, of course, if it's going to be, uh, if if we're going to have this really, really cool stand, then of course it's going to be Anubis that uh, is the name of it. Because Anubis is kind of, well, it's at least one of the coolest names for the Egyptian gods, you know? So, yeah, that's, oh, that is so, so cool. Uh, and so, yeah, we had Chaka, who, you know, he's, oh, he was sort of the, the, the weak, disappointing son of that group, but Anubis chose him, which was interesting. Uh, and again, just the idea of choosing, choosing your stand user and the stand becoming, basically the stand was using a person rather than the other way around, you know? So that is just so cool. 
and then we had the sword fight which was really really great i love that because yeah it's like you know at first i was like oh well you know all right here's another polner f episode but it's it's honestly fine oh excuse me it's honestly fine and you know jotaro is there too uh, although i don't know how well jotaro can punch a sword you know you like you might need magicians red to melt it or something you know uh but i did like that uh just like okay let's have a sword fight you know it's like okay we have a stand that has a sword okay let's fight the other stand with a sword silver chariot so that was at least good you're making good use of polnareff there um so yeah i really really like that and then the interesting thing of like you know because the sword itself technically isn't the stand but it's basically like the thing that is embedded uh, that has the stand within it you know whereas instead of just a person having a stand the sword has a stand and the person can wield the sword granted though it is still anubis that is in control which is interesting it's such an interesting idea for a stand i love it um so yeah i i did like that and then you know being able to I, again using a stand to his advantage because yeah stands they're not exactly you know solid objects you know they're more projections of energy basically is what they've said before so the idea that anubis can send the sword through the pillar and slice polnareff and not even slices sure just slice him is very interesting you know just such a a fascinating idea so because that's a i guess that's the thing too it's like it's not just that it's a sentient stand but how it's being used in conjunction with uh with the sword is really interesting so i like that uh and then we got that really cool move of uh silver chariot launching the rapier the the blade of the rapier at uh at his opponent which is very interesting uh a, you know a new move for polnareff because yeah polnareff like the most we've really seen from him for a while has just been summon chariot and then you know sword fight but you know we haven't really had anything kind of since his introduction like you know when he originally did the you know like oh he can become so fast by shedding silver chariot's armor you know so i like this new move of you know being able to send uh the rapier blade at his opponent and it's interesting though he says like oh it might not kill my opponent like really a blade into the guy's throat didn't kill him that's odd but okay whatever um but yeah i did like that now they do show i think it's in the intro they show silver chariot with two rapiers so i'm curious if that's ever actually going to come into play maybe at some point but yeah um so a good fight all around for Polnareff. Uh, and then again, it does seem like, okay, is Anubis trying to take Polnareff? Maybe it was trying to, but then, you know, uh, Joseph and the others showed up, so it gave up on that. Um, but it does stand to reason like, okay, well, wait, could that work? Could Polnareff technically have two stands, you know? But even then, I feel like it's not even that, oh, this person now has a stand. It's more that, well, they are now being controlled by the stand, you know? And the conduit between the stand and the user is the sword, basically. So, I would imagine that wouldn't really count towards Polnareff having two stands, you know? It would just be he's being possessed by Anubis, basically. Um, but yeah, that, that would have been interesting. Plus, you could almost wonder, like, could Anubis then use his own sword basically in conjunction with silver chariot maybe like that'd be very interesting but i don't know maybe we'll get that next episode but i don't feel like we will um because now he's more uh, uh determined to kill polnareff now um and then yeah so we had a shave which okay yeah i guess like oh let's go to the police it's a very dangerous object it's like well wait couldn't the well i guess he doesn't really know yeah, they don't they don't know. It's not until, you know, the guy at the end that he realizes, "Oh, the stand is in the sword, you know? The stand can change users basically." Yeah, he didn't know that. So, he would have just thought, "Oh, it's just a sword, you know?" 
Still, I would have just chucked that sword into the Nile. Although, potentially, again, it could wash up and someone else could take it. And then, you know, unbeknownst to them, they would become the new vessel of Anubis, you know? So, it, it's very tricky to figure out what to do with this. But, again, I just really like it. Uh, and then, of course, you know, oh, they stop for a haircut and a shave first. Like, ah, all right, whatever. Polnareff be in vain. But that's okay. Uh, and then the guy going in is like, ah, now I'll kill you. Like, I am Anubis and I'll kill you. It's like, oh, man. Well, you know, now they know. Now they know. And knowing is half the battle. But now they know that uh, Anubis can change users. So, a brilliant, brilliant idea. This is This is what I've wanted, man. This is what I've wanted. Okay. You know, like I said, we started off a little shaky with the first uh, episode of this arc uh, with Iggy the Fool Part 1. But honestly, since then, we have really been shaping up. These last three episodes have been really, really solid. Even though, you know, like last episode was ungodly goofy. I still really enjoyed it, you know? So we are definitely, we're definitely shaping up. I am really now really enjoying Stardust Crusaders uh, more than I have been in the first half. Which, And again, I like the first half, but this is really like, okay, I see where we're going now. This part of, this second half of Stardust Crusaders is when, okay, everything's starting to come together. The writing is getting a lot tighter. Like, this is, this is good. And I love this stand, you know? This is such an interesting idea for a stand. So, um, yeah. Uh, that's basically it again really loved it and i'm very curious to see how they're going to defeat anubis that's going to be uh very interesting and will anubis try to take polnareff maybe maybe we'll have to see but that is basically it with all that being said i'm alex from seventh hour films and i will see you guys next time take care Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to watch more of my JoJo's Bizarre Adventure reactions, you can click on the playlist, you can subscribe if you haven't done that already, and be sure you hit that notification bell. You can support me on Patreon and follow me on social media, links below in the description. See you guys later.